today we're gonna sit and flip through my huge collection of Van Gogh art. So because I want to film this in a bigger area, um, I will be doing this one-handed. So I will pause most of the time. Well, I'm going to pause to take it fully out of the box. So this is one of the books that is most definitely too big for me to film from my desk. And I would like for you to have a nicer view of it. So I decided to just sit it on the bed where I can open it up and give you a better view of it. So the book and the sleeve are made up of some type of very, very strong, durable material. It's like it feels it even has like a wood grain feel to it. I'm not sure if the book is a real wood grain panel and the sleeve is just um a heavy duty cardboard that has been covered in a wood grain panel they they look extremely similar but this it honestly feels like it's a wood grain panel and then van gogh's name is embossed on the front opening the book it has five signatures in it, which never appear to have actually been glued in here. And going through the signatures, the entire book is, okay, so we have a portrait here with the first page. Vincent Van Gogh on the title page. And the entire book is written in French. I do not read French. That's something I am working on. But I love sitting and looking through it. The book itself is gorgeous. So that's the first signature. And then we get to the second signature and they all kind of correlate with one another because it's labeled the numbers are um labeled in the books all in order I love this image. So we're going through a lot of what appears to be some of his sketchbook images. And this, I believe, is the last signature. So, yeah, this is the um, last signature, which I could put this one to the front, but I just left it how it was. And that's information on it. So then we get to the art pieces. Let me see, I may have too much light on them. Mm 
Let me get the lighting better in here one second. Okay. So now, this is a stack of his actual paintings, replicas really, that has the write-ups on the back of each. And this is such a beautifully put together book. Now, this is one of my favorite images by Vincent Van Gogh. It's a piece I've always wanted to hang on my wall. And I'm tempted to frame this one. I'm really tempted to frame this one because I've always wanted this piece. And even though it's a part of this book, I feel like I, I actually have the piece. And... And I may actually put this in a frame and hang it on the wall. This is an image is called the Potato Eaters, and I love it so much because it's a a family living in poverty, and they're doing their best to come together in order to share a meal. So I I've always been fascinated with this image. This one is called self-portrait. another one that another one of his kind of famous pieces some are very rare and less seen And he was very known for his still life paintings. This one with the sunflowers. Okay, so this was, I believe, his actual bedroom. And this may have been, I'm not sure if this was the bedroom when he was in a um, asylum. But I think this was his actual bedroom. This is an unfinished piece. It's 
It's another well-known piece here. I'm pretty sure most people are familiar with this one. This is Starry Night. This is another self-portrait. And it, it's just unfortunate that some artists in life, they never get to see the glory of their work. It, doing the art is a passion that you have within yourself, but, some, but Van Gogh never sold any of his art pieces. It was also the same thing with Bob Ross. All of Bob Ross's paintings are somewhere in a, where, in a warehouse. And he never sold any of his paintings. They may begin to sell now, but in life, he ne they never sold their work. So this was one of my books that I wanted to dedicate its own video to. I felt like it was unique enough to have its own video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.